What happens in a mixer is that you take the uh, radio signal from the sky, or in this case the terahertz signal from the sky, and you combine it with um, another signal called the local oscillator signal. And if you now superpose those uh, two signals and apply them to a device which is highly nonlinear, then what happens is that they will, uh, the different frequencies will beat together and information which was uh, present in the uh, astronomical signal will be down converted to much lower frequencies. Um, and so the fabrication of that device itself is, is not easy. Moreover, its area has to be very, very small. If its area is too big, then of course uh, its capacitance is large. And in fact, uh, we have to get it down to something like a micron in diameter. And what's shown here uh, is an array which has been uh, built by colleagues uh, here in Cambridge for the James Clark Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii. Uh, each of these items along the top of the picture uh, are individual uh, SIS mixers, superconducting mixers. However, 16 pixels to an astronomer uh, is, is uh, a great luxury. A superconducting imaging array is actually uh, quite a physically small device. Um, unfortunately, it has to be cooled to very low temperatures. So here you see uh, a picture of the, uh, uh, an SIS uh, imaging array on the side of the James Clark Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii. You can't see the dish of the telescope that's out of the top of the picture, but essentially uh, the signal from the sky, from the astronomical source, comes onto the front surface of the dish then it winds its way through uh, a sequence of optics and it comes out through the side, through um, one of the, uh, a bearing of the telescope where the, the telescope is nodding backwards and forwards uh, and so the signal's coming into the front and then it's coming out uh, of the side. And so that's what you see in this photograph here. The blue box itself is the uh, superconducting uh, receiver and then you can see the uh, rack of electronics off to the side of it and achieve sensitivities which are approaching the quantum limit. Um, and this is why astronomers go to all the uh, extremes of all this cooling and all these complicated uh, uh, optical systems and cryogenic systems is because they want to get the, 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 uh, the ultimate sensitivity for the purposes of being seeing the, most, the faintest of astronomical uh, sources.